Hello everybody and welcome to this rendition of Steph is late on trends but I really uh I, I really I saw this uh Starbucks cup because it recently moved we didn't have any Starbucks near us and then I saw the Starbucks cup and I was like this is nice I could paint on that so I'm gonna paint on them today using these glitter Poskas which I don't know about you guys but I've never heard of them before and I was like wait a second they are glitter Posca pens what so we're gonna try them out today but before we start guys, please uh, just a public service announcement that if you would like to be my patron, you will get this print reward this month which has a soft touch finish and is a heavy cardstock print of Pride and Prejudice ladies in my style and um, also these two stickers which are very much like and I couldn't decide to make it holographic or normal. People are getting two stickers this month so if you guys want to be um, savvy with uh, rewards <clears throat> please go check out the link down below thank you very much uh, please don't uh, leave this video we're gonna paint now. These Posca pens have glitter! I need to calm down. I need to calm down. First of all we need to get them out of their like plastic grave. Um, <laughs> This is my favourite part of art supplies, is when you have to like, get them out of packaging. Uh, it's a lie, that's sarcasm by the way, if you guys know about my jelly paint videos, <laughs> with opening those plastic lids, which I'm sure everybody now, because those jelly paints are so popular, I think everybody has been through that uh, situation, <laughs> if it wants to open. Um, so yeah, oh there we go, I just twist it. Oh my gosh guys, I'm really excited. I've also got a spray on varnish for this. So once I've done the Posca pen, pen, paint pens, I'm hoping that the spray on varnish will keep it safe. Obviously I won't like completely submerge it in water, but let's see, maybe it's not for drinking out or after. But look guys, it's so beautiful. I don't know if you can see that, but the um, the lid and this yellow like blue tip are glitter. Uh, well they have glitter in the plastic and then there's also like a hollow thing here I don't know if you can see that but oh, attention to detail you gotta love it okay let's do my twisting method again that seemed to work there you go guys there's a pro tip for you You've got plastic on a pen twist it off oh twist it you gotta <clears throat> these are so oh, I'm so excited <laughs> Honestly, um, I am actually really excited to try these out because I saw them online and I was like, really? How have I never heard of this? Like, obviously, I think I'm just dumb because I'm pretty sure I'm always late to the game with art supplies. I forgot to mention, I also got these two Posca brush pen ones and I've been using these quite extensively. I talk a little bit about them in my recent vlog, but they are amazing. I love brush pen anything. So Posca brush pens. The only thing that could make it sweeter if these were brush pens as well. Yeah, so I'm gonna be using them as well as like maybe a base here and there because I don't know how opaque these pens are gonna be because even though they are Posca pens, they're glitter. So usually what happens with glitter stuff, it tends to be a little bit transparent. I wanna see if they are gonna hold up for the thick color that I want. Excuse me? Rude. The twist method has prevailed. Lovely jubbly. I don't know why I said. I've had a coffee, in case you couldn't tell. And I'm excited to get into this. Come on, come on, you're the last one. Don't be difficult. There we go. Whew. Why was that so difficult? Let's just get rid of this packaging. Ah, uh, I don't know where to start. I'm really excited, in case you can tell from the hundred times I said it. I don't know whether to paint the lid or not. I think I'm gonna keep the lid free. Comes with this plastic straw, which is great. Uh, let's see. In my design, I've done some like, the Japanese writing of Tamagotchi. Well, I don't know if it says Tamagotchi. I'm assuming it does. <laughs> I could say something rude and I'm just like, oh. So I'm gonna do that first, but I'm gonna do it with my paint pen and then I'm gonna go in with the glitter ones. Oh my gosh, I'm a bit nervous. Okay, let's just go for it. 
Goodbye. I'm presuming I have some time to just like wash off any mistake before it dries. Do not know because Posca pens are meant to like paint on stuff so I just do the outline first and then I can fill it in. That's probably the best thing to do. I'm very sorry if I butcher this uh, writing because I don't speak Japanese. Yeah, this probably doesn't make sense because it feels like it needs to be written going down and it probably doesn't make any sense going to the right but it looks cool so probably need to do a couple of coats of this because it's looking quite opaque i hope that isn't the case with the glitter ones because it's going to be we're going to be here for a while if that's the case okay, so that's like the basis of it what do you think looks cool right i like it we just need a thousand more layers. It is drying, which is, you know, a good sign. Obviously, Poscas are kind of made to go on stuff and be permanent. <sighs> so I'm hoping that it stays, especially with the, because I got a spray varnish, but you know, I've never done this before, so I'm not completely sure that it will. So guys in the comments, let me know like your care tips if you've done this before. Maybe I should put like a, um, I, maybe I just won't drink out of it as well, which is probably what most people do. <laughs> Even though it would be nice to drink out of it, it'd be cool. Um, but yeah, let me know your care tips. Maybe I can put like some sticky back plastic on it, maybe or something. Even though you can't really wash that, but. I just, I, yeah, I think I just won't drink out of it if it turns out to be really nice. If it's, if, if, if I don't do a good job, then I'm drinking out this. <laughs> and then I want to try the glitter. Let's get going. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> that was super quick, okay. Outline this. Yeah, as I thought, it is quite transparent. So I might need to grab some more pens. So glittery, I love it. I'm so glad that it's like actually glittery. Oh, it looks cool actually. Yeah, it is. Maybe if I do a few layers like the pink, it will become more opaque. Let's see if it works. It doesn't look that good on camera, but in person it's super glittery. Maybe if I shine it in the light. It's cool, right? Okay, in the light you can see it like shining. And it looks good with the contrast of the matte uh, colour, which I still need to go over again, which I probably should have done before I did the outline. But you live, you learn. So my plan now is to completely decorate this whole thing with, in that Tamagotchi style. I'm gonna make this uh, the center of the Tamagotchi egg and try and do like a little area where you can see the egg cracking like they do with the screens. And then I'm just gonna paint like different icons from the games, uh, the different Tamagotchi they can get and then like try and emulate that kind of 90s
And here is the final look. I'm really pleased with the way that it turned out. I think it's a really fun uh, mug, mug? <laughs> Plastic cup. And I really like the shiny glitter Poscas. They worked out really well. They look a little bit better in real life, but they layer down really easily. Like they're really quite glossy and watery. I don't know if watery is the correct word, but I try to incorporate a lot of Tamagotchi kind of symbology and imagery. And yeah, I really like the front. I think this obviously looks the best part of it, but I think it's great. And I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna spray this now. So hopefully once I do that, it will all be good to just not chip off. And that should be all fine. So let me know what you guys think about this in the end. And uh, do you, what do you think of these glitter Poscas? I think they're really cool. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the video. And don't forget guys, if you wanna join my Patreon, that'll be really awesome. And yeah, I really enjoyed making this and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. So hopefully see you next time. Bye.